Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to continue from where we stopped in the last lecture on video three, and we managed to uh, export the Revit uh, conceptual mass into our project environment, and we created the level and array of levels, and then we created conceptual masses, floors, and then we accept, uh, create a, an actual uh, physical Revit architectural floors, curtain panel, and we clad the walls with uh, conceptual, uh, sorry, with uh, <clears throat> with, a, with a physical walls of it, or actually physical rivet walls, sorry. Now, we are uh, going to continue in the fourth video to create the landscape following the step that we have in the exam, and we said the exam is going to, you know, ask to create the project, uh, to export the project to create, uh, to, to export the conceptual mass into the project environment. Uh, sorry again, and then you know we create the plans, and then now it's asked to create a landscape uh, based on offsetting the edge 10 meter on each side of the triangular. So I'm going to go to level one. I'm going to use uh, I'm not going to use an annotation uh, lines uh, because it's going to be seen only in this view, but rather I'm going to go create and go use model lines so it will be shown in all the levels, select the uh, pick lines option and with the with the uh, offset option you just choose uh, 10,000 millimeter and then click as you can see here and then just use the trim command to create the triangle shown in the JPG here. So uh, again another 20 meter I'm gonna ignore this 3 because uh, it makes no sense and then we have to make 10 meters in the in the middle of the lower base to create the entry. So repeating whatever we was doing, so go architectural model and instead of uh, pick lines, instead of 10, we go to 20 meter. As such, and then I'm going to go and have a line here in the middle and then we're going to offset that line just a 5,000 both sides so something is really wrong in here so I'm going to go undo it's just a uh, sorry architecture line and then I'm going to just copy that or offset that I don't know Remove the midline and then just split. So that's uh, technically it. That's what we really want to do. That's the that's the model line for our landscape, and uh, we need to achieve this object. So I'm going to assume that this point is 10 meter high from the zero zero, which is this point, which is the same near the street level. So it's easy again, massing inside, and I'm just gonna go uh, topography, and it's top of surface, I think, it's top of topography. Yeah. Anyway, and here I'm gonna feed ten thousand, and then just one point. I'm gonna get, of course, a message saying you are not gonna see in this level anything. It's okay. I'm gonna click here once, and then here, and I'm gonna finish. So when I go site, I'm gonna see what I've done. To see it better, uh, just go to the, you know, the 3D, and you're going to see that this point is 10 meter higher, but uh, those, you know, at the base of the triangle near the street, are actually a zero meter higher from the, uh, you know, the the street level. So now, now that's been achieved. Now we need to, you know, cut this podium. So the tower will not be, you know, sunk. Uh, the two two floors within that. It's easy if you have uh, activated the the uh, building pad option, and of course you can, but you cannot see anything. So flip that to the wireframe and pick. 
and choose those. Of course, except this dude, I think I have to draw it. And that's it. It's going to tell you it's going to be placed at level 0 or offset from level 0 or level 1, 0 from it. So I finish that. I'm going to accept it. And you can see that it's uh, just dropping the whole thing, cutting that out from the topo surface or the topology of the object. Now, we need at this level to create this graded uh, walls. You can go ahead and guess the heights. Of course, it's easier. But if, if I go to side, I may manage to just changing the scale to like 1 to 500 because it's big. And I'm going to go and you know use this. And it intersect the label contour with each, you know, each point giving me uh, a headache here. Trying to, you know, give me the height, the exact height at each point I click of the contour if you miss by a little it's gonna be you know anyway so it can be a bit of a good help actually and it show me the height at each point so when I come and have a wall I'm gonna pick a conceptual mass and of course uh, finish exterior and click that guy uh, just hit space to flip the wall and just go ahead and do it and then go that way now this dude I'm gonna just make it uh, of course it's unconnected it's one meter high but this guy, I'm gonna go and assume that it's at the highest point, which is 10,000. So I'm gonna add one extra meter to the 10,000, making it 11,000. And now we see in the 3D, it's ugly enough because it's not making any sense and it's not graded. Here it's okay, but here it's really huge and high. So now we get to divide that, uh, select the wall and see, let's split, and you know. Uh, just go ahead and uh, you know pick up some points so just hit tab to avoid whatever rivet is suggesting for me so I'm picking in a point uh, at each at each uh, you know uh, gradient change Now, of course, that's enough uh, for me in here. It's just uh, the tower is in the way. So that's the that's the eleven. I can make this ten, and I can make this nine, and so on. And the reason is uh, I did just half is just I'm depending on you know the fact that I'm, I need to select them all again and I'm gonna just you know mirror them rather than just do that job the boring business this one uh, twice which just doesn't make any sense so I'm just selecting those wall in the wrong way as you can see I should just, uh, I should just, uh, you know, just use the filter better than what I'm doing right now. But anyway, it's already 3 a.m. So I, with my minimum brain capacity, guys. So again, uh, mirroring this. Let's see if it's work perfectly as usual. Yeah, it is. 
now the same thing in this side and again I'm gonna create similar and I'm gonna do that on the inner edge space and such a thing again and uh, this is a uh, 6000 so I'm gonna split again at each point it's a point and whatever the height is in here is just uh, 8000 so that's 8 let me try if I can use the match property is it gonna work or it's gonna mess up the entire universe from this one to this one from this one to this one and this one let's see yep very nice so it worked nice and smooth and again don't do thing twice just mirror guys as I am doing right now and we get ourselves nice uh, two bits of uh, internal and external wall probably we need uh, uh, also walls two walls in here I'm gonna go with this guy and create similar and space and indeed split this and that maybe can be in the same height probably this one will be a great idea if it's one meter no no I'll just make them two keep that 2.5 or 3 or whatever probably this guy have to go a little bit down but I'm too lazy to do it I'm leaving it for you guys and again another mirror to achieve the symmetry here that we got so that's it guys that's what I wanted to do uh, so far in this video which is making uh, the landscape and uh, you know the topology uh, or the top of surface uh, here and the walls the gradient walls uh, on both sides and how we make the podium to cut that uh, top of surface to allow the, 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 the tower the base of the tower the podium of the tower to sit correctly on that part anyway I wish that you find this uh, video useful thank you very much and have a good day bye bye